Hi, before watching this video, we want to invite you to click on like to our page on Facebook from the link below in the description box, and click like and subscribe button to get last updates. The Samsung Galaxy S9 is the next big thing for Samsung, and there's already no shortage of hype. In this video, we'll tell you all you need to know about the Galaxy S9, and all the new features that expect. 1000 frames per second camera sensor Samsung has reportedly come up with a camera sensor technology able to capture the mind-boggling 1000 frames per second, but instead of stacking three layers and packaging them together like Sony, it uses two layers, then flips the package to add the DRAM module, most likely to avoid patent disputes. This should allow for some breathtaking slow motion scenes, and the 1000 frames per second sensor is set to go into mass production in November. Air Quality Sensor Samsung is no stranger to employing various barometer and UV sensors in its flagships, but a new mobile environmental sensor it came up with reveals one small enough to be fit in a handset the size of the Galaxy S9, and allow for measuring the size and amount of harmful particles in the air, useful for cities like Los Angeles or Beijing, for instance, and a cool feature to brag with. Dual Camera No brainer, but backed up by famed analyst Ming Chi Kuo, so almost certainly happening. This is big, not only because it will be the first dual camera phone in the S line, but since Samsung just announced brand new 24 megapixel and 12 megapixel camera sensors that promise some pretty upgraded specs. Low light sensitivity has been improved and Samsung's new sensor is using its dual pixel focusing tech for portraits, too, just like on the Pixel 2 XL. More refined design. The new camera sensors that Samsung announced last week have one main differentiating feature, they are made from the ground up to be thinner than existing solutions, so next year's Galaxy S9 might come slimmer, and with two camera modules that will be flush with the rear surface, which would make for a refined rear to complement the current smooth infinity display design at the front. Now, where will that wonky finger scanner from the S8 go? Incel touch displays on both the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Samsung has allegedly opted to produce an Incel touch solution for both Galaxy S9 models next year on its own. Dubbed Yocta, the flexible OLED technology integrates the touch layer in the screen panel itself, thus slimming it down, and reducing production costs by the whopping 30%. The Galaxy S8 uses such a solution, while the S8 Plus and the Note 8 are with a regular extra touch layer packaged together with the panel, as Samsung suppliers don't have enough capacity to implement it everywhere for now. Both the 5.77 and 6.22 panels of the eventual Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus are tipped to come with Yocta touch layer integration, though, and Samsung is going to use its own resources to produce them. New 7 nanometer Snapdragon 845 or 8 nanometer Exynos 9810 chipsets. New Galaxy S line entry, new chipset production node, that has been a tradition for a while, and the S9 won't disappoint, it seems. Despite the challenges that 7 nanometer chipsets presented to the Samsung and TSMC foundries, Next year we are likely to see the US version of the S9 and S9 Plus equipped with the latest Snapdragon 845 and the upcoming Exynos 9810 from Samsung, ushering in a new era of performance slash power draw ratio. Oh, and it looks like the 845 will be exclusive to the S9 for a good while while production ramps up. Neural Engine Coprocessors Qualcomm already outed a software development kit for its Snapdragon neural processing engine this summer, and Samsung is set to follow suit with such a coprocessor in its own Exynos chipset line, so stay tuned for the real-time Bixby translator, or more advanced object recognition algorithms. 3D Face Mapping Keyton That neural engine coprocessor won't be sitting in the S9 for giggles, though, as Samsung's current iris face recognition set may follow Apple's Face ID style, tip sources, and the S9 may arrive equipped with a 3D face mapping kit in its turn. Apple is ahead in 3D face mapping technology, though, 
so Samsung may have a steep hill to climb if it is indeed bent on releasing the Galaxy S9 earlier than usual with depth sensing front cameras. There's that, and then there's finding actual useful application for the technology that will stem from Samsung's eventual replication of the new Face ID tech on Apple's anniversary iPhone. Space Saving Stack System Board Samsung will allegedly equip the S9 with stacked PCBs that package the chips tighter together, making their footprint much smaller, like on the iPhone X, and leaving more space for other things. With slimmer in-cell touch panels, smaller motherboards, 7 nanometer chipsets, and smaller camera sensors, we hope that Samsung will indeed use the extra space in the S9 and S9 Plus for larger battery packs rather than other extra features we may or may not use on a daily basis. Where there is smoke there is fire, and the fact that nuggets of info about upcoming Galaxy S9 are already trickling out may come as support for the rumor that Samsung may pull its release forward in order to combat the wider market availability of the iPhone X, whose production is expected to ramp up sufficiently no sooner than next quarter. While a grandiose change in looks is not expected, given that Samsung just blasted off with the Infinity display design this year, there will be grand changes under the hood, if the rumor mill and history are to be believed. So, without further ado, we are corralling all the credible rumors about upcoming new features of the Galaxy S9 that make sense and have a chance to land in the device. If you like this video, please share it, and don't forget to subscribe to get last updates. Thank you for your time.